Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's me, Pam, also Miss 58. I thought I'd bring you guys along because I am here uh, at the end of my day and I wanted to show you guys how I remove the makeup off of my mature skin. Now, the look you see me wearing here is a look I created using the Juvia's Place Mini Rebels Palette and it was in the shade gray. If you haven't seen that video, guys, please, by all means, go check it out. Uh, let me know what you think. Leave any comments down below, and I'll be sure to check into it, and we'll go from there. So without further ado, I wanted to show you guys how I remove my makeup. The process is very simple. I use very little products to take care of my skin, and I wanted to share that with you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. Okay, guys, before we dive right on into this video, the first thing I want to do is remove my lashes. So I have my trusty little case here that I keep my eyelashes in, so we're going to go ahead and remove those. Okay, after removing my lashes, the next process is the product I use to remove my makeup. Now, the very first product is by Pons, and it's a cleansing cream. Now, I have mentioned this before, but their cleansing makeup remover, it is awesome. It's not harsh on the skin by any means, and it removes all traces of makeup without feel, making your skin feel scratchy and, and a very abrasive. You don't want that, especially when you're dealing with mature skin. So I'm going to go ahead and dig into this. Okay, and just just an ample amount uh, on my finger here. Place that into my palm. Now, sometimes I go in twice uh, with this uh, remover here, makeup remover here, as you see in the palm of my hand. And, but today it's just not necessary so because I took out more than what I need to get it off okay so and it comes off this makeup comes off fairly easy using this product so after massaging it in your hands getting everything all warmed up you want to go ahead and apply it to the skin and you want to work it over the entire face over the eyelids you want to work it all over Okay, guys, as you can see, I'm looking a hot mess with, <laughs> with this all over my face, but that's the point, right? So I'm going to go ahead and rinse this off, and then I'm going to go in and uh, apply uh, the cleanser of my choice. That's also good for sensitive, mature skin. So I'll see you guys shortly. Okay, guys, as you can see, I've already done rinsed that off using my uh, makeup uh, cloth here. Now... Uh, I should also mention the Pond's Makeup Remover will actually leave your face feeling like it's very moisturized. And so for those of you who have oily skin, this is great for that too, regardless of your oily skin. And the reason why I say this is because it only that's the moisturizing agent that's in the Pond's Makeup Remover to keep your face from feeling, like I said, so drying. So after you moisturize and everything, that uh, moisturize or oily greasy feeling that you're feeling on your face it will actually be gone so I'm going to go in with the next step and the next step I'll use to keep my face cleansed is by uh, a product by Myriad and this is some exfol cleansing exfoliating remover okay so I go in with this using my uh, little uh, cleansing brush here, makeup remover brush. And with these two products here, it makes sure all makeup is removed even out of my pores. So I'm gonna go ahead and dampen my brush and we're gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of this and I'll show you guys how I manipulate this over my skin. Now, as you can see, the rest of the makeup is in my brush here, but I'm going to go in with a second time with this uh, uh, exfoliating cleanser here. And the second time I go through, I'm going to use my hands to manipulate this over the face. 
Okay, now this is the second use of the uh, Murad Cleansing Exfoliating Cream here. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and massage this into my hands and go ahead and cleanse my face for the second time. Okay, guys, as you can see, my face is very clean. It's feeling well um, exfoliated. My pores are open, which is good. Uh, when I tell you this stuff is really good, it's not abrasive at all. So uh, my face is feeling very refreshed. And before we go in with the last couple of things to, that I do to my nightly skincare, I'm going to go ahead and jump in the shower, get that out of the way because I do need to wash my hair as well. And after I've done my shower, then I'll pick up where I left off to finish the rest of my face for the night. Okay, okay so guys, I am back. I done had my shower. I done washed my hair. So it's already molded, um, ready for, for tomorrow, but I'm not going to be in no time soon. I just need to wind down and get everything taken care of for the night. Okay, getting back into... The rest of what I do to uh, take care of my skin, after cleansing my face from the makeup, I go in with another Murad product, and this is their hydration uh, toner here. This product, just like the cleanser, is really good. So it's in a very fine mist, so I just spritz my face a little bit with this. All it takes is very little. Okay? Now... You can just pack this in because I said it's a very light mist. And then after that, I go in with a moisturizer. And this is this hair. And I only need very little. After using the cleansing products, the Murad cleansing product, the makeup remover, the Pond's makeup removing product, my face is not dry, it's not itchy. It's not any of that. That's why I highly recommend these few products. I'm going to apply some more moisture back into my face. Now, this is generally the end of what I do to my face, uh, to my skin after removing any makeup. The only thing left for me to do is to apply my nightly under eye cream. Okay, so uh, I will let my moisturizer sit just for a few minutes to soak into my pores and then I will go in to apply my under eye cream. So after I done already applied my Pond's moisturizing cream, I go in with one last product and this is my under eye cream. This too is by the brand Murad. And it's a hydrating under eye cream. And you just apply very little of this under the eyes. And you want to pat this in. Okay, and this will be the end of how I keep my skin very nourished and well taken care of with very few products. Uh, let me know if you guys decide to try these products out. You can find any of these products at your local drugstores. I will tell you that the Myriad products are a bit pricey, but, you know, they are definitely worth it. And some things, quality is everything. So, um... Let me know what you guys think. Please leave me a comment down below. Uh, don't forget to go over to Instagram and holler at Miss58. Okay, and subscribe to my uh, page over there. I would greatly appreciate that. Let me know again if you guys tried any of these products and whether or not they've been helpful for you. Because I'm telling you, you will notice a, a difference after the first use. And a daily use of it, especially if you wear makeup on a daily basis, this is will be just perfect for the skin without going through a lot of different products and not knowing actually what's breaking you out or what's working or what's not working because you're using so many different products all at one time. This is keeping it very simple, you know, and, and taking care of your skin. So I hope this helps again and uh, leave me a comment and I'll see you guys in the next video.
Bye, guys.